another good example of why uh, audible and visual messaging as well as visual signaling is important in an environment is really to uh, get people's attention. You may have people that are uh, very focused on a conversation or in a meeting and they're not really paying attention to any overhead announcements or things like that. So with the visual signaling, it draws them, the persons to, to look at where the flashers are flashing and at that point in time, they can actually start reading the scrolling messages if they miss the first part of the audible or audio announcement. In that case, um, we find this a very desirable application in high schools. Kids have a tendency to between classes, put their earbuds in, or they get into very deep conversations and they really become very loud. Um, and they're really not paying attention to a lot of things that are going on around them. So by putting uh, devices in hallways that will give them not just audio announcement, but visual notifications as well as visual signaling. If there is an event, it gets their attention. Again, they're able to read what's on the screens. They're able to do what they're told to do uh, without any confusion or hesitation. So uh, it's important to think about uh, the types of communication that you need, but also very important that to recognize um, the communication requirements based on the audience.